you may know of CSPI as the organization that lobbied to get the nutrition label on all packaged foods. Also, we're the organization, the popcorn people, who blew the whistle on movie th The FDA must protect the public from an additive that has already caused severe symptoms and might even cause deaths if those symptoms occurred when the victim was engaged in a risky activity such as swimming or driving. It's only a matter of time before products containing Olestra cause deaths. The only thing that should die is Olestra itself. In the evening, came home and decided that I would have some of those chips with a snack on. This pain was so sharp and of such a magnitude that I would say it was almost like the beginning of a labor. The, the very onset of labor feels very much like that, a very sharp gas type pain. And that's what I was having, and I, and I did have those for hours. Last year, I expressed some very severe reservations about this material. If it wasn't a lestra that they had, but some other unknown agent in their food, we'd call their symptoms food poisoning. And we'd say that they had dysentery, some of them. And that's a pretty serious health effect. It may paradoxically get us to help people stick to healthier diets. Remember, it's only being introduced as a snack food as a very first step. So my view is, let's not throw out the baby with the bathwater. A little bit of temporary indigestion shouldn't hold back the introduction of what may be one of the most significant scientific breakthroughs of the next century.